Hey, what's up, people? Glad to Jerry here, and welcome to a brand new series. Today, we are going to be playing Ace Academy. Now, this is the first um, visual novel playthrough on my channel, so hopefully, you guys enjoy it. But what exactly is this game about? Uh, let me read part of the description. In the year 2049, mechanized robots, commonly called Gear, were developed for military application. Since then, their versatile functionality has led them to not only become commonplace in commercial use, but also spawned an entire sports entertainment industry. The prevalent use uh, and popularity of Gears has created a new academic field known as Signal Robotics. And of course, we are going to be taking on the role of a student and we're going to be transferring to this academy and I guess we'll just go from there so let's go ahead and get this started and of course you know meet some beautiful girls <laughs> Ooh, oh yes okay uh, so let's um let's um, press start here and let's see where this game takes us and uh, welcome to Ace Academy okay simple enough okay let's open this up um let's get a few things set up for you like what uh what is my first name what is my name guys uh, I think we should just Nah, I don't want to go with Galactic Jerry. It's a weird name to give to a person. <laughs> uh, let's just go with Jerry. Ah, uh, yes, Jerry. Let's go with Jerry here. Okay, Jerry. And enter Mel's last name. What is my last name? Um, let's go with McDouche. So McDouche. Okay. Okay. So McDouche. Uh, you know, don't, don't worry, guys. I'm not an actual McDouche in real life. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, proceed as Jerry McDouche. Yes, um, yes, okay. Uh, please select Jerry's main characteristic. Uh, what is my main characteristic? Athletic, intelligent, or intuitive? Uh, speed and endurance come naturally to me. You know, I play a lot of sports, so let's go with athletic. Although, I've always been an, an academic um, back in the day as well. <laughs> I guess any of this would do, but let's just go with athletic uh, because I can. I love sports. Um, that's it. Okay, good luck at Ace Academy. Okay, so... Here we are, guys, our little adventure. Attention, passengers. Oh, it talks. We will be arriving at our destination shortly. Please ensure you have all your belongings prior to exiting. Okay, dot dot. Dot dot dot. <laughs> dot dot. Oh, okay. Huh? Something strikes my cheek. I turn away from the window and see a small hand beside me. Oh dear, who's this Nikki? Who is this Nikki character? I glanced at her sleeping form. She was always a bit of a restless sleeper. I moved her hand back to her side. Not as gently as I could have done it, but we're almost there. She may as well wake up. Um, Yes, uh, she stirs and stretches with a wide yawn, hitting me in the face again. That one she must have done on purpose. I don't doubt it. Ah, oh, she's awake. Hey, bro. So she was sleeping standing Looks up. Looks like I so. just off there. Did you sleep well? Okay, so she's my sister apparently, Nikki McDouche. So we are the McDouches. <laughs> okay, uh, did I sleep well? Uh, should I have my revenge here? Uh, what is the sleep you speak of? <laughs> grumble, grumble. Uh, revenge. I think we should have revenge on our little sister. I think she's our little sister. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, always n it's always nice to mess around with your sister. Okay, I sounded kind of wrong, but you get the idea. <laughs> That's why I have revenge here. I glance at her out of the corner of my eye and stretch just as widely, catching her on the cheek. Ah, that's what you get. Hey! What? She swaps back at me, but I just laugh. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Rude. Rude. Am I being rude, guys? I don't think I am. This, the sun shines in my eyes, catching my attention. You know, you know I think that will catch anyone's attention. <laughs> uh, uh, the sky is ablaze with deep reds and orange as the sun creeps towards its reflection on the glittering ocean. A soft breeze ripples the trees beyond the coast. The leaves seem to wave goodbye to us as we race past. I'm not sure what this guy's talking Doesn't about. Doesn't it okay. look like something out of a fairy tale? Does it? Ah, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> There's a smile on her lips, but her warm eyes search my own. After a moment, she looks down and slinks back into her chair. You know... You didn't have to come, too. You were already in your first year at CINY, and, well... You didn't have to come, too. Then what exactly are we doing here, then? Great, back I go, then. Uh, that's what my big brothers are for. Someone has to take care of you. Let's go back and... Let's see what happens. That's a relief. I'll just wait for this train to turn around, and then I'll take the first flight back to the States. Uh, um... Her eyes grow wide and she bites her lip, trying to keep the worry out of her face. 
I can't help but laugh. Uh, we're starting over here. A new life. There's no way I'll let you do that alone. Oh, damn it. I was really looking forward to going back to the States. Uh, I really flutes her face as she smiles. But oh well, I guess that's not happening. But more importantly, I heard Japanese college girls are total babes. Oh, this guy has the right mindset. <laughs> okay, so let's meet some college, um, some Japanese babes. <laughs> Nikki smiles, stays, but she rolls her eyes. You're ridiculous. Am I ridiculous? I don't think I am being ridiculous. We have arrived at Izokaze Station. Please stand clear of the doors. Oh, that's our stop. Come on. We have arrived. As we exit the train, I am bombarded with a cacophony of noise. A businessman walks briskly past, talking sternly on his phone, while a nearby mother tries in vain to soothe her screaming child. A group of older women sneak quick glances at us and whisper amongst themselves. Every so often, they burst out into laughter. Okay. Uh, Nikki eagerly steps off the train and breathes in the cool air. <sighs> That's more like it. Hmm. She glances back at me and puts her hands on her hips. Oh, what do I do now? Hurry up, Slowpoke! Oh, Slowpoke! You know, like the Pokemon Slowpoke? Haha, <laughs> we got a Pokemon reference. <laughs> oh, that's not what Slowpoke is, you know. Um, whatever. <laughs> Let's just continue. I carry both her luggage with ease and nimbly step onto the platform. You see Uncle Kyoto yet? Mm -hmm, not yet. When were we supposed to meet him? Um, 6 30 ish, I suppose. Um, looks like he's running a bit late. Probably traffic. After a few minutes of scanning, a familiar face appears out of the crowd. Uncle Kaito! Oh, this guy looks too, way too young to be our uncle. Um, but we'll just go with it for now. His face splits into a white grin. In a white grin, okay. Welcome to Japan! Nikki giggles at Kaito's English. Uh, Hello, my name is Nikki. I don't get it, so are we Japanese? Okay, uh, Smackdush! Doesn't sound like a Japanese name, last name. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, maybe half Japanese. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Whatever. Let's continue. Um, uh, Uncle Kaito speaks fluent English. WTF? Hey, let's go with Hero. Why Hero there? <laughs> uh oh, they both stare at me. What? You can't say that. That's offensive. <laughs> you two were just doing the same thing. You have quite a bit to learn, kiddo. Was that offensive, guys? Hero! <laughs> uh, Nikki crosses her arms and nods in agreement. Uh, what did I do wrong? What's that? Is it a monster behind us? Uh, a loud grumble interrupts us. <laughs> Sorry. Uncle Kaito roasts for laughter. Let's get some food in you. Okay. Hmm. More dots. <laughs> Welcome home. Welcome home. I don't even know what home is anymore. It's been far too long since I've called the place home. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that was about. Oh, nice. Even got a nice TV and a nice desktop. Very clean. Uh, this place is the opposite of cozy yet cramped apartment I expected. Instead, I feel like I've just walked into the cover of a home decor magazine. You guys hungry? Dinner should be here soon. I thought this guy was cooking for us. Um, okay, whatever. Um, Sweet. What are we having? What are we having, Uncle Kaito? Well, I figured it'd be good to expose you to some true Japanese cuisine. Some true Japanese cuisine, he says. Which is? Yeah, which is? Sushi, of course. 100% bona fide nigiri sushi to maki sushi. Nigiri sushi, maki sushi. <laughs> sushi? Mm, sounds good. Uh, damn it, I hate raw fish. Yeah, you know, I really do hate raw fish. Or anything raw for that matter. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of sushi. So let's go with that. Uh, damn it, I hate raw fish. Sushi, huh? Hmm. Kayato winks at me. Why are you winking at me? Don't worry, kiddo. <laughs> not everything is sashimi. Trust me, you'll love it. Okay. I'll take your word for it, I suppose. Uh, you know, I gotta eat at some point. Uh, I'm still not convinced, though. By the way, your things came in a few days ago. I put them in your rooms. Why don't you two go upstairs and start unpacking while I get dinner ready? Sounds good. We have. Sounds like a plan, guys. Nikki nods as, and we head upstairs together. Okay. More dots. <laughs> 
Oh, so far I'm enjoying this special novel. How about you guys? Hopefully you are. Uh, the hallway upstairs is narrower than the one back home, but Kaito's house is not small. Nikki heads into the first room on the right. My room is right beside her, and Kaito's is further down the hall. Even with all of the boxes lying around, I'm surprised by how spacious my room is. It might even be larger than my dorm room at CIMY. I head over to the wall and sit on the edge of my bed. Thank goodness Kaito had the beds made before we arrived. I don't even remember which box holds my linings. Uh, maybe it's this one? Perhaps um, I put the nearest box towards me and rip open the top. Just closing here. May as well start putting some of this away though. I uh, just emptied the box when Kyoto's voice echoes from downstairs. Hey guys, fruits here! Oh. After dinner. <laughs> I'm stuffed. Mm, I'm stuffed. <laughs> Am I stuffed? No. You know, if there's free food, you should eat as much as you can because you never know. It may be your last meal of your, of your life, so. Don't hesitate to eat as much as you can. Yeah, so um nom nom nom. I eagerly reach for more, even after both Nikki and Kaito have put down their chopsticks. Are you sure you don't like sushi? Um Wow, he's really wolfing it down. You know when a man is hungry, he'll eat anything. <laughs> I finished the last piece and stiff for a burp. Okay, I don't really know how to burp at this moment. Um So, what did you think? What did I think? Eh, it's okay. Kaito sees, Kaito sees right through my attempt to play cool and smiles in triumph. He got me. I actually did enjoy the sushi. Kaito leans back in his chair, resting his hands be behind his head. So, what was the I and Y like? What was that place like? The usual, you know, exams, a messy dorm room, a part-time job. And you still managed to save enough money to buy yourself a bike. Hmm. True, I could have bought it sooner if maintaining a gear wasn't such a money sink. Oh, you're still using your original gear? Yes. Is it getting you trouble? You should probably replace it if it needs that many fixes. Everyone says that, but when I think about all the time I spent with that, I'm not ready to put those memories aside, especially now that they can never be replaced. Uh, besides, Dad was great at what he did, I know there's still plenty of fight left in that mech. I guess, but that and I worked on it together. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into it, and I'm not quite ready to give it up. Uh, give give up on all that hard work. Oh, what it's happened there? It's <laughs> true. Especially that one time when Butterfingers here dropped the torch. Remember that? There was a lot of blood. Nikki, <laughs> didn't have to say that. She smiles sweetly at me. What? I'm just backing you up, big bro. Are you sure that's what you're doing? Uncle Kaito laughs. I understand. It should be arriving at the academy any day now. All you'll have to do is present the proper ID to claim it. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uncle Kaito jumps up to his feet and grabs something off a nearby table. He returns with a packet of papers which he hands to Nikki. Here are your transfer papers. They're already filled out and all the docs you need are in there. All you have to do is hand this to the headmaster first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Thanks, Uncle. Yeah, sounds simple Here. enough. He hands each of us a SIM card. Put these SIM cards into your phones. I've already added credit to them to start you off. Kaito looks over at me. And you took care of your transfer stuff? Did we? Uh-huh. Mm, I guess that means yes. I nod. <laughs> Great. I pop the new SIM card into my phone. After a moment of waiting, the phone boots up to an empty contact list. I quickly exchange numbers with Nikki and Uncle Kayato. I can add the rest of my old contacts later. I have a feeling this guy doesn't have any prior contacts. <laughs> Don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. Yes, I'll be sure to call you Uncle, since I don't have friends. <laughs> we won't. Um... Although, I did manage to get Nikki's number. Oh, so that's a start, right? <laughs> uh, the conversation lures into a silence. Um, hey, Nikki, we should probably unpack a bit before the jet lag takes over. Good idea. Hmm. All right. Don't stay up too late, though. You both have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. We excuse ourselves from the table and head upstairs. Very nice. All right. 
Time to unpack. You know, I I'll try to keep this episode as short as possible, you know, so you guys can stick around for as long as you can. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see though, we'll see. Uh, I managed to put most of my things away before I'm, I'm interrupted. You done unpacking yet? Oh, what is she doing in my room? This late night. <laughs> uh, Nikki seems tense. Oh, why is she tense? Although there's a small smile on her lips. Her brows, uh, her brows, her brows, her brows are fair and worried, okay? Just about. What about you? Almost. But hey, what do you think about this whole uniform thing? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Is it? Uh, she shifts uncomfortably from one foot to the other. I think it's a great idea. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't. I don't think it really that makes. Actually, it kind of does. Um, I don't think it's a great idea either. It will be like one of my Japanese anime. So yeah, this guy has the right idea. So let's go with the. It will be like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> Are you kidding? It'll be great. Just think of all those girls in short skirts. <laughs> all those perfectly timed off dress, revealing cute, colorful panties. Ow! What the hell was that for? For such a small girl, she sure packs a punch. Nikki sighs. You're hopeless. No, I'm just a guy. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. What kind of uniform do you have to wear anyway? I mean, mine's normal, but you're going to Ace Academy. Huh? The dress code says something about distinguishing the students in the pilot program from the rest of the student body. The pilots wear teal markers to indicate the program. Ooh, that sounds good. You transfer directly into their pilot program, right? Yup. I heard that program's hard to get into, but I never doubted you. I hope they're ready for you. Oh, I pressed something. I heard that program's <laughs> hard to get into, but I never doubted you. I hope they're ready for you because you're going to kick butt. Thanks, sis. <laughs> the clock on my nightstand flashes 11 p.m. I think it's time to go to bed. What? Already? Yeah. I gently heard her out of my room. But it's not that late. It's really not that late. Um, 11, you know, the night is young, right? <laughs> um... Come on, you don't want to be falling asleep in class now, do you? Uh, she pouts, and I'm worried she'll continue to argue, but she just mumbles something incoherent and turns towards her room. Good night, Nikki. Night. Night, Jerry. <laughs> Nikki McDouche, the sister of Jerry McDouche. I return to my mess of boxes and try to organize them into something resembling, uh, resembling a night, a neat pile. Um, as I reach for the last box, a picture frame falls to the ground with a loud clatter. I'm a heart tightens in my chest as I snatch it up and inspect it for any fractures. Luckily, it's unharmed. I run my finger over our smiling faces. Me, Nikki, Mom, Dad. We were at the fair and Nikki wanted to ride the roller coaster. I remember Mom and I had just argued over something stupid before the picture was taken, but you'll never be able to tell from this photo. Mom always looks so poised together and together. Okay, okay. And I place the frame beside my computer, trying to ignore the lump in my throat. The lump in my throat. I should probably get that checked out. Um, unless he's talking about the Adam's apple. But why would he say lump in my throat? It's not a tumor. <laughs> I hope it's not a tumor, right? I lay on my bed and close my eyes, but my thoughts refuse to quiet. Um, Oh, why, why do I keep pressing back? Uh, sorry about that, guys. I keep scrolling <laughs> by accident. Um, okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, 